Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Avada Studio. This fantastic feature allows you to add a huge variety of professionally designed pre-built content blocks to your website. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. Avada Studio adds a new level of power to the Avada website builder. With Avada Studio, you can rapidly build content with a huge range of professionally designed pre-built content blocks and quickly customize them to your needs. It all starts at avada.studio. This showcase website displays all the available pre-built content in Avada Studio and you can quickly sort it to browse the various content blocks. As you can see down the side, there are many different types of content blocks available. There are templates, headers, page title bars, content layout sections, footers, as well as containers, columns, single elements, icons, forms, postcards, off-canvas sliding bars and pop-ups, and mega menus. Going into a category, you can see all the content blocks of that type, and you can even further refine your selections by filtering to the various subcategories. And if you click on one, you get a full screen preview of the content. There's also both a light and dark version of all content available. The Avada.studio website gets constantly updated to offer new and exciting content blocks and features going forward. You can see the total number of items in the Avada Studio library at the bottom here. As mentioned, Avada.studio is just a showcase site where you can browse and view studio content. To access and use Avada Studio content, you do this directly from your website. So now let's move over to an install of Avada to see the various places you will find Avada Studio there and the various ways you can integrate and manage that content on your site. I have imported the Avada Online Tutor pre-built site here, and I'm on the Avada dashboard. To access Avada Studio, your site needs to be first registered. I've done that, and as you can see, there is a Studio link in the top menu of the dashboard. There are also links to Avada Studio in the WordPress sidebar, and the toolbar at the top of the page on the front end. If you have registered and still don't see links to Avada Studio, it's likely the feature is not enabled. You can turn Avada Studio on or off in the global options under Advanced Features. Ok, so let's head to the Avada Studio page. All the content blocks are sorted into their categories along the top. Much like Avada.studio, we can see and sort the content blocks into their various categories. I'll just go into Containers, and filter with the Information tag, and I'll just open up that same content block as a preview. As you can see with the preview, there is a menu bar along the bottom with navigation and import options. There are options for style, image and colours. The first one is style. You can import the content block with the original studio styling, or you can select local colours and typography, and the content block will use your local preferences to more closely match your existing site style. There is also an import option to use placeholders instead of importing any images, and another one to invert the colours of the content block. So not only are these professionally designed content blocks a quick and useful way to add content to your site, they can be imported in various ways to suit your needs and your site's style. So to import from here, all I need to do is click on the import button. This brings up a dialog and the content is quickly imported directly to its relevant home in Avada. For templates, containers, columns, elements, postcards and mega menus, this will be the Avada Builder Library. For headers, page title bars, content sections and footers, this would be the layout section page. For icons, forms and off canvases, these are saved to their own respective pages. You don't have to save any content blocks from here to use them, as they will also be available when building with the Avada Builder. This is just a quick way to save them for future use. There is one exception though. With icons, to make the studio content available, you need to save them from here, so they are available when adding icons into your content. So while I'm here, I'll go into Icons and import one of these icon sets. You can also just import them with the plus button without previewing them. I will also import a form, a postcard, and a mega menu. Then we can see how we can make use of these a bit later. New content is added to Avada Studio regularly. But at the top, there's also a Sync Avada Studio button to make sure you have the latest content blocks. Ok, so now let's look at how you can add Avada Studio items directly into your content. I'll just start with a blank page in Avada Live. 
Avada Studio is of course also available from Avada Builder if you're still using the backend interface, but I prefer to use Avada Live. As we can see, there is an Avada Studio button right on the starter page. This opens the Avada Builder library straight to the Studio tab. Note how this is only displaying the Avada Studio templates. This is because this is a blank page and templates are full page layouts. I can filter the templates on the left, and to import this content from here, I can just open the import options by clicking on that down the bottom here. Then I can make my import selections and click on the corresponding plus button to import. Alternatively, I can preview the item by clicking on it and set my import options and import it from here. There's also an import option here called position, which allows me to choose where into the content the item should be placed. It can be inserted above or below any existing content or it can replace all content. In this case, I'm on an empty page, so it won't make a difference. Currently, the content block is displaying the default studio style, but if I prefer, I can just change it to the local style. So now I'll just click Import. A dialog appears showing the import process, and when it's finished, the content appears in the builder. As we can see, as we scroll, this is a full page template ready for us to customize. Now that's a quick way to add a well-designed layout with some dummy content. One thing to realize with imported studio content is that you're not just importing the layout, but also the content in it. Depending on the import options you set, you can control whether or not it will import the images in any content block, but it will import menus, forms, postcards, and icons, etc. Whatever is required for the specific content. The images used are sourced from free sources, but for image licensing questions, please check the licensing doc below in the video description. If you change your mind with the imported content, you can just use the clear layout button on the toolbar. Alternatively, you can just head to the library from the toolbar and replace the content. Note here how the library opens on the websites tab. This is not part of Avada Studio, but they are also full page layouts. This is where you can import any of the individual pages from any of the Avada pre-built websites. Please see the link below the video here for more information on that process. Okay, so if we now head to the Studio tab, we could now add a different template. I'll just select one, and this time the Position Import option is much more relevant. The Replace All Page Content is selected by default, which in this case is what we want. Yeah, let's import that. And when the content finishes importing, we can see only the new content. Okay, so that's Templates. Now the next four types of Avada Studio content blocks, headers, page title bars, content blocks and footers, are all designed for layout sections and used in Avada layouts. So we'll look at these in a minute. But while I have a normal page open, let's look at the next three types of studio content, containers, columns and elements, as these are also added directly into normal page content. I'll just clear this layout. Now these types of content blocks are added in the same way we add any content. So instead of going to the Avada Studio button here, I will click on Add Container. And now, if I head to the Studio tab, all the Studio Container content blocks are ready and waiting. Again, we can filter the blocks along the left-hand side. When we found one we want to use, we can just preview it to set our import options. If I toggle between the Local and Studio styles for this, we can see quite a difference. I will just leave it on Local. And I might try again to invert the colors. Yeah, let's import that. We just need to wait a bit while the content is imported. When that is complete, the container is added to the page, including, of course, any columns or other elements required for the layout. Most content blocks will work with both default templates and 100% width templates. And of course, once the content blocks are imported, you can customize the content in any way you wish. The columns and element content blocks work in exactly the same way. You can add a content into an existing container, or if you prefer, you could add a blank container and add it there. I'll just add a new empty container after this one, and then add a column. So now if I just go to the Studio tab, I can see all the available Studio column content blocks. Columns have different sizes, and as you can see from the previews here, some of these are narrow and others are wider. But again, you can always change the size of the column once you have imported it to suit your design. I'll just add this one here. This comes in as a one-third column, but I might now just change this to one-half. Then I'll add another column and go to the Studio tab again. And this time I might import this one. 
and this is already a one half column, so it fits nicely. Finally, there are studio elements. I might add one here at the bottom of this column. So again, I just go to add an element and head to the studio tab and here are all the studio elements. I'll just filter to social links and add this one here. And in this case, I might go into the container these columns are in and change the column alignment to stretch and then go to the design tab of the social links and add a bit of top margin. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, so as you can see, any of these pre-configured containers, columns or elements can be edited in any way you want once they have been added to the layout. But they are great pre-built building blocks for you to use when designing your content instead of doing everything from scratch. Okay, let's move on. What about headers, page title bars, content sections and footers? These content blocks are for layout sections and designed to be added to your site via Avada Layouts. As you probably know, Avada Layouts allows you to build custom layouts for any area of your website. If you import any of these from the Avada Studio page, they are saved directly to the Layout section page. But just like the previous content, you can also add them directly from a Layout section itself. I've got a new Header Layout section created here, and I'm going to add a pre-built header from Avada Studio. So I just click on Studio here, and the Studio dialog opens with all the available headers. There is a wide range of headers to pick from, and more are added regularly. There are even a few side headers here. For my example, I think I will add this one, with the default import options. And so here's the imported header, ready to be customised with my own content. And remember, these have been professionally designed, so in this case, if we change over to our medium screen responsive view, we can see there is another container set up for tablet and mobile. If we just edit the container and go to the Extras tab, we can see that this one is set to render only on mobile and tablet, while the original one is set to only render on desktop. Adding Studio content for the other three layout sections is much the same. When creating a page title bar layout section, a content layout section, or a footer layout section, there will always be a Studio button on the starter page to take us to the Studio tab in the library, and a range of different content blocks you can use to quickly build your layout sections in no time at all. Here, for example, are all the page title bar content blocks, the content section blocks, and the footer blocks. And just remember, new content is added regularly to Avada Studio, so over time it will become a huge library of ready-to-go, professionally designed resources. Once you've customised your layout section with your own content, of course, then you just need to assign your layout section to a global or conditional layout for it to be used on your site. Check out the Getting Started with Avada Layouts video linked below to better understand layouts if you're not familiar with them yet. Also, one thing to remember with Avada Studio content is that every time you import a content block, you're importing the content as well. Which means images imported into your media library and menus added to your menu page, etc. So if you import a lot of content blocks and don't end up using them, you'll probably want to clean up a bit after yourself. If you want to remove all Studio content from your site, there is an option at the bottom of the Builder Options page, where you can remove all of Avada Studio content. Use this with caution, however, as it will remove all content imported to your site from the Avada Studio page. As well, it will delete any imported content such as images or videos from the media library. Any content blocks you have added directly to a page, post or layout section from the Builder will remain, however, just with any imported content removed. OK, let's now move to the last five types of Avada Studio content. Postcards, icons, forms, off canvases and mega menus. With icons, you need to save these directly from the Avada Studio page, as I did at the start of the video. But forms, postcards, off canvases and mega menus, Studio content can also be added through the Builder. Let's look at these. I'll head to the Icons page, and here we can see the icon set we saved earlier. To use these icons is just the same as any icon. Once there is a custom icon set imported, we can access and use those icons anywhere we find the icon picker. If I just go back to a page, and edit this button for example, there's an icon picker at the bottom of the Design tab, and along the top of that we can scroll across to the imported custom icon set, and add the icons into our content. OK, let's now look at Forms and Off Canvases. So if I go back to the Dashboard, and then to Forms, we can see the form I saved here straight from the Avada Studio page. Or if we prefer, when we create a new form, we can add Avada Studio content straight into the form. 
there is a range of different forms to choose from. And from here we would edit and customize them before adding them into our page content with the Avada form element. Then there are off canvases. These also have their own page. And if I make a new off canvas, the Avada Studio button is there on the initial pop-up. And again, you can choose from a range of pop-ups and sliding bars, depending on your needs. You still need to configure the conditions and triggers, etc., and change out some of the content, but these are a great way to get you started with pop-ups and sliding bars. Finally, there are postcards and mega menus. Both of these have their home in the Avada library, and so if I head there, we can also see the postcard and mega menu I saved earlier. But if I create a new postcard, I can also access the studio postcards from the builder. There's no starter page with postcards, but I can just open the library tab and head to Studio, and add a postcard from here. Once it's imported, we could edit it to suit our needs, or because a postcard will always be dynamic content, we could just use it directly as is, in our content with the postcards element. Then there are mega menus. If I go back to the library and make a new mega menu, the Avada Studio button is right there, and there are quite a few examples of mega menus to import. These are menus, so obviously you'd want to connect your own menus. Okay, so that's Avada Studio. It's chock-a-block full of fabulous starting blocks for your website, and being professionally designed, they are well thought out and executed. Avada Studio is a real game changer with regards to building page content, and as it grows, it will only become an even more amazing resource. Let us know in the comments what you think of this fantastic feature. Thanks for watching. Okay, this concludes our video on how to use Avada Studio. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.